Howdy guys, my name is Abby. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm starting a declutter series here on my channel. So every Thursday for the next several weeks, I'm going to be decluttering one area of my makeup collection. And then at the end, I'm going to do skincare and just stuff in my bathroom. But I used to do declutter videos in one big long video that was like 45 minutes, hour long. I don't want to do that this time. I've seen other people do where they break it up into categories, so that's what I'm going to do. This will be the only face-to-face -face part that I do of these declutter videos, just because I don't want to move the camera back and forth, and I really, also, it's kind of boring for you guys if I copy and paste the same introduction into all the videos. So first I'll do a foundation, concealer, powder, setting spray, and then I'll do bronzer, blush, and highlight, and then just eye products and then a separate video will be eyeshadow. I'm probably going to be depotting some eyeshadows because I'll explain that in a minute but and then uh, the next one will be lip products and then the last one will be the skincare slash whatever's in my bathroom. Why I'm doing this so I am getting ready to and we're like 99 percent nah, 95% sure that I am moving out of the country with my fiance who's in the military and um it's really far away, and I, we don't think that the Army is going to pay for it. I know next time they will, but anyways, it's a long story. But I only have, like, two suitcases to bring everything, and makeup is a big part of my life and, like, what I do online and stuff, so I know I'm going to bring a lot of that and probably some clothes, and that's about it. But I have a lot of stuff that I don't like anymore, don't use anymore, and just stuff that I wouldn't want to bring to the other side of the world with me, you know, like it's not that good. Sometimes I, before I do a declutter or if I just declutter stuff on my own and don't film it, I'll have a pretty good idea of stuff that I know I'm going to keep and I know I'm going to get rid of, but I've purposefully not done that mentally, like picking things. There's a few things that I have picked out, but not like everything. So I'm going to go through it with you guys, like real time, do maybe some swatches and um, see how it goes. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be like a massive difference or if it's going to be just a little bit. And also something interesting, once I get this finished, and I do have a few a few orders of makeup that are coming in soon, but I found from 2015, I wrote down my makeup inventory, like how many makeup items that I had of each one. So I thought it'd be interesting to see how those are different like if I had more in 2015 versus now or if I have more now. I do think at one point I don't remember if it was 2015 I know I had over a hundred lip products. That was not good. I did not want that many again <laughs> especially not trying to move. Can you imagine like putting a hundred lipsticks in a suitcase? <laughs> There's potentially going to be six five or six more videos after this one so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those and at the end I'll put them all in a playlist. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with foundations, concealer, powder, and setting spray, and those types of things. It makes me very nervous having the camera up like that, but hopefully it's okay, because I broke my last camera trying to do this. <laughs> I only have two primers. I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and then the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I did a whole video about comparing these. Well, not really comparing them to each other, but just seeing how they work in general, like do they actually do anything? So go check out that video. But I am focusing on using up the hydrating face primer because I feel like it kind of takes up more room than the putty one. And I kind of, I don't know if I like this one better. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna use this one up. I'm gonna also keep a separate basket for things that I'm going to try to use up. And then if I don't use them up by the time we leave, then I'll just get rid of them. So that guy will go in there. All right, and here is all of my liquid slash one cream foundation. I have two powder foundations, but I'm not sure if I should include those in foundation or powder. I guess I'll just put them with powders. This is the Uma Say What foundation. I can't remember, I think I did a review video of this. If I did, I'll link it below. The only problem that I have with this is the scent. It doesn't really go away throughout the day, um, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I do not like anything scented but it was okay besides that. And this was actually too light for me, which is very, very rare. 
but I do like it. I would keep it, and um, I, I honestly considered getting a, another shade of this, maybe to mix, because that's what I have to do with these Pacifica ones. Like, the lightest shade is too light, but then the next lightest is too dark, so I have to mix the lightest two together. So I'll keep this one, also because it's so new, and I don't feel like 100% like I know if I like it or not. So I'll keep that. And this KVD, this is the True Portrait Foundation. Oh, by the way, if you want to know what shade I am, this Uma was in the shade White Pearl T1N, and this KVD is in light 004. So this one is kind of weird. It's like this is flexible and you squeeze it from there and it's got a little dropper thing. I tried this the first time on camera and then I just tried it again for the second time today. It did not go well the first time and it doesn't look great today so I have to still play with it some more and see if I am going to like it or not. I'll keep that because it is so new but if I try it a few more times and I end up still not liking it, then it's gonna go. And I don't feel too bad about it because I got it on, like half off. You'll notice I do have some products with these little stickers on them. I tried to write the month and the year that I got things, but that got away from me quickly. I used to do a spreadsheet on the like, Google, Google Sheets or whatever that's called and log my makeup that way when I got it, if I've used it, if I've like talked about it in a video or whatever. I might do that again, but also it's a little bit crazy because I have been trying more stuff and it's a little bit harder to keep up with. Anyways, so I have the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation and this one is 40 NF and this one is 37 WL. So I kind of go more warm to neutral even though I think my skin tone would be technically cool because it leans a little more on the pink side, but on my face, my skin is red because of acne scars, so a warmer foundation will help to cancel that out, basically. So that's why I go for a new, at least a neutral, if not a warm foundation. These are not my favorite. They honestly don't look great at all at first, but then once I wear them for a little bit, they look a little bit better. They're definitely not transfer proof, like none of these so far that I've mentioned are transfer proof, like especially if you wear a mask or something. But I think these are okay for now. Um, I just have not been using them much because I've been trying other new ones, like those two are new, um, this Milani one is new, and this next one is kind of new. So I'll make a point to use those a little bit more, but I'll still keep them. And this Cover FX Power Play Foundation, this is Probably my favorite foundation, if not second favorite. So I will definitely keep that. There's probably not much left in there, really. Even though there is a little bit more than your standard foundation, there's 1.18 ounces in here, and the rest of them are about one ounce. This one is the shade N20. But yeah, for sure keeping that, and it is a lightweight bottle, which I appreciate, even though it is plastic, but it's uh, take up less weight in my luggage. And so that's something that I'm hesitant about on these Pacifica ones because they are glass and they're really heavy. So I don't have to think about that. And this one is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. And this is the shade Fair 30C. I did not like the shade on this just because I think I got cool instead of warm. And I am for sure getting rid of this one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But on the end, it like this literally stinks. Like it smells like fish food. There, can you see that? It looks like it's growing something, so definitely getting rid of this one. <laughs> I didn't like it anyways. And this is the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. I also did a review video about this, I'm pretty sure. I'll link it. And this is the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. I did a video about this, I'm pretty sure, so I'll link that below. This is a light coverage foundation, light to medium. The rest of my foundations, I think, are all pretty much full coverage, maybe medium to full. If this was a full or medium coverage, it would be way too light for me, but since it is a lighter coverage, it works out, like it kind of cancels itself out. So I have a really good shade range in this though for being a pretty inexpensive foundation. I also, I did forget to mention, I do have on my blog, abbyhuang.com, a list of cruelty-free and vegan foundations under $15, so go check that out. I'll link that below as well if I remember to do that. A lot of links. But anyways, I am keeping this one. This ColourPop No Filter Foundation is almost finished up. I used it yesterday and had to take the top off of it and pour it out because it wouldn't pump anymore. 
So I'm going to keep on using that until it is finished. So I'll put that in my little basket over here. The last foundation is this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I forgot to mention this Milani Screen Queen is in the shade 100. And the ColourPop No Filter is in Fair 30. And then the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop is in... Where is it? Uh, 03 Porcelain. This is my... I would say first or second favorite foundation along with the Cover FX one. This one is very full coverage, but I don't think you would like it if you have dry skin. This is more suited for people with oily skin. Um, I've heard from people that have a little bit more mature to dry skin that absolutely hate this. So if you are oily and don't have many fine lines, I would maybe go for that. But um, people who have fine lines or are drier, don't like this. So just keep that in mind. And that's one thing that I made a point to talk about in my blog post as well, like who the foundation is formulated for, because a lot of people will buy a foundation and give it like a one star review. I keep popping into that, but they'll give it a bad review because they didn't pick a foundation that's meant for their skin type. So that's why you gotta pay attention to what the brand says the best skin types are for that foundation. But yeah, definitely keeping this. This is like, in the running for wedding foundation for sure. So I'm getting rid of the ColourPop stick and then I'm going to finish off this ColourPop one. And by the way, a lot of my recent Instagram posts for the past, I don't know, couple months, I have been using this foundation in the pictures. I just don't link it or tag ColourPop because I'm just kind of taking a break from their stuff for now. I'm not gonna say that I'm never gonna use them again, but I just, I don't know, it's weird. And then like a lot of other people are saying that too. And then when the Baby Yoda palette came out and then now the Raw Beauty Christie palette, like people are just kind of forgetting that. So I don't know. At least the Raw Beauty Christie palette is better suited for deeper skin tones. So um, yeah, that's that on that. I'm writing this down so I don't forget. So I had, how many foundations? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna count the, the stuff that I put in here, I want to count that as declutter, just to keep it simple for myself. So I'm decluttering two of those and keeping seven. And also, I don't know when we're leaving. It could be in a month. It could be in two months. I really don't know. Well, I know when he's leaving. I don't know when I'm leaving. So I might be able to finish off another one of these, which would be helpful because the glass packaging is heavy. Okay, so I did not know that I had this many concealers, but here we are. So this first one is the Uma Stay Woke Concealer. Uh, this is amazing. Like, I just don't know how else to explain it. The color is really good for me. And this is in the shade White Pearl T0.5. Now this is actually a little bit too light, but that's okay, because I only really use it on my under eyes. And I don't think they make this shade anymore. I got this on Ulta, and this shade was not available on Uma's website. So I really don't know what's going on there. Should I swatch these? Maybe I should, so I can see, because some of them I know are a little bit darker. That is really light. Put that there. I know I'm definitely gonna keep that one, though. It is pretty new. I just got it a few months ago. And then this is the e.l.f camo concealer, the original one, and I have the hydrating one right here too, but this is the shade Fair Beige, and I mainly use this for doing a cut crease, like on my eyes. The shade is similar, maybe a little bit warmer. Keep that, I'll keep them in order, that way I know which ones are, which ones which on my hand. And this one is newer to me, it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and this is the shade 100, again, same as the foundation. And if you are also only using vegan stuff, the this concealer is vegan, but the the Conceal and Perfect foundation is not. It has beeswax or something in it. I'm like, why did you put beeswax in foundation? That e.l.f. concealer is definitely pink next to this one. So this Fair Beige from, or this, what is this called? Pure Ivory from Milani is definitely warmer. And then this is a color corrector from Eau Naturelle that I got in a Petty Vore box. And I, this has survived too many declutters. I never use it, so that is going to go. It is so light. Like, it's, I don't even know who could use this. Like, let me just swatch it somewhere inconspicuous. Like that's like pastel. It's not even, what's that supposed to do? So I'm going to get rid of that because I don't use it. Then I have these 
Pacifica liquid cover, full coverage concealer. I have 18 WL and 20 NF. These are all so different, but they all work on my face. This one is a little bit darker. This is 18 WL from Pacifica. That is really dark. I think these as well I mixed together. And I'm not one of those people that has to get different foundations and concealers for like summer and winter because I don't tan. I like I physically cannot tan. Then I have this Cover FX Power Play concealer. This is a really good shade, at least I think. I just don't like the applicator. Like Cover FX is not known for non-messy applicators. Like remember they had those custom cover drops and those got everywhere. This is the shade N Fair 2. There's that. This one is it's kind of similar in color to the Milani one right here. Definitely way lighter than those specific ones. And this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, also in the shade Fair Beige, but they're different. Like the color is not the same. I'll swatch it next to that one. So this is the hydrating one, and then that one right across from it is the regular one. This is definitely more pinky, I would say, but also a hair darker. But this still works, like even though this looks like a pretty big spectrum of colors, once you blend them out, they work fine. And these last two are from ColourPop, and I am working on using them up. I'm keeping them on their side, so that way I, it's easier to get the last little bit out. Is the shade Light 10. This is pretty similar. It's maybe a cross between the Milani one right here and then the lightest uh, Pacifica one. I had, this is the third one of these that I'm going to use up. I literally have two more sitting right over there. I don't want to get them because I'm going to knock everything over in the process. But I've had the two lighter shades in this and they all work for me. It's like why why do the first three to four shades need to work for the same person? And this last one is just a white. I'm not going to swatch that because it's literally white. I'm using that in conjunction with the other ColourPop one. And I think I will keep... Because I go through concealer kind of fast. Like I used up those two ColourPop ones in the last few months. So I think I'm going to focus on using up this last ColourPop one that has color to it and then I'll keep the white one to mix especially with that one Pacifica one because that is pretty dark. So this ColourPop one is going to go into the to use up basket and then I don't think any of the other ones are even close to being used up just because I've been focusing so much on those ColourPop ones. But I'll have to pick one once that one's gone to focus on. And I guess that'll depend on the foundation that I'm focusing on too because those kind of go with that ColourPop foundation. So I'm thinking like if I'm going to focus on finishing up that Cover FX, for example, I'll use a Cover FX concealer. Or if I focus on the Pacifica ones, I'll use a Pacifica concealers, you know, because they're kind of designed to go together. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten concealers. And then I'm keeping eight decluttering two. All right, now on to powders. So I go through powder real quick. As you can see, I have pan on a few of them. There are some, these are loose powders, and then I have these pressed ones. So I think I'll go, I'll start with these powder foundations actually. So this is the KVD powder foundation, the shade Light 45. I actually have used up uh, one more of these, and this one is almost done. I repressed it. So that should be used up pretty quickly. This one I'm going to put in the use it up or leave it pile. It's because I know if I use this like maybe three or four more times, it'll be totally gone. I don't have to worry about it. But if I do repurchase this again, they sell just refills. So I think I would just put a refill in my Z palette and save all this packaging. And then I have this Pure Powder Foundation. I actually have not used this one much. This is a shade... I didn't even say. Oh, porcelain. I have to play with this one some more. I don't know if... So I've not used this one in a long time, probably since like right after I got it. 
and I don't know if it was the concealer that I was using under it or what, but I thought it may be too dark, but I could be wrong. So after I use up that KVD one, I'm gonna try this one out and see if I can make some progress on it. Keep that one for now. All right, and then these Milani Prep Set and Glow. This one is a backup. I because I ordered off of Milani's website and you can only get this product on Milani's website. I have searched everywhere. It's not on Ulta. It's not even on Walgreens or CVS. It's not in their stores. I don't know why it's only at Milani's website. So I placed an order on there and went ahead and got it back up because this is pretty much going to be gone in no time. And I have been focusing on this one though because I really don't want to bring any backups with me. I think this one will go in the use it up or use it or, use it or lose it category. And I'll keep this one up, of course to bring. Then this NYX HD finishing powder. So I don't use this on top of my foundation just because it has a lot of flashback to it. But what I do use this for is over top of my primer. So I'll put a primer on and then this powder and then my foundation and that helps it to mattify and I feel like it looks a little bit smoother as well. So I'll keep this and I'll just keep it. I'm not gonna try to use it up because I don't use it that often, but this is a small compact, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, this, and you're probably like, wait a minute. So this is Physician's Formula and if you didn't know, Physician's Formula is no longer cruelty-free, at least according to what I consider to be cruelty-free. Some bloggers do. <sighs> but I had this sitting around. I have gone through like four or five of these and I had literally just bought this before I found out that they were no longer cruelty-free. I also have a mascara from them that I had just bought, so I'm trying to use those up. But this one, I don't know if I wanna use this up because as I'm using other powders like the Milani Prep Set and Glow or some of these loose ones, this is too dark for me. Like, I mean, obviously, duh, look at that. I don't know why I didn't think that it was too dark. So I'm actually not even gonna bother trying to use this one up and the packaging is just bulky and I don't wanna deal with it. So uh, that's going. All right, and these are some loose powders. So this is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I don't know if you can see from that angle, but there's not really much left in there. I've used this to set my under eyes every day for a while. So I'm gonna try to finish using it up. I've also been just using it to set my whole face, just to use it up faster, because this is a big, a big container. And I would rather use a pressed one, because I'm afraid that, like one of these, if I travel with it, it's gonna bust everywhere. But I think if I start using this on my face, as well as my under eyes, then it will get used up pretty quickly. So this is gonna go in the use it or lose it. And this is the Cover FX, uh, what's this called? Perfect Setting Powder. And this is a mini size. I will keep this one just because it is so small. And I believe this one, yeah, this one has a cap. So you have to like pop this little thing off to get the product out, which is great. It's not gonna spill everywhere. So I'll keep that specifically for like traveling. And then this setting powder is from e.l.f. The sh I don't, I really don't know what this is called. I got it as like a free sample thing, but this would be decent for travel as well because it's so small. The only problem that I have with this is it doesn't want to come out those tiny little holes. So I had to be careful. And, and this guy, I really don't, this root stuff. So I have heard people talking about Root Pretty. They're obviously a makeup company. And they sell other stuff too, like hair care, skin care, and that kind of thing. And they came out with these new things where you can buy a compact, or not a compact, the one I talked about, a jar like this. And I have a blush and a bronzer and a highlight in this style as well. And this is a glass packaging. And then once you run out of this, they sell little refill sachets. So that way you don't have to keep buying this plastic over and over again. And the sachet is made out of like that cellulose stuff that's not plastic. But I'm not, like, I don't use loose things like that. This is a mineral foundation. While this looks absolutely amazing, like, makes your skin look really glowy on its, like, naturally, you know what I mean? Not like a highlighter. But I just don't, uh, I wanna keep it, but this is really heavy and it's a big compact and I have three more of them. So I kind of, for this reason only, I regret buying these. I just forget to use them, honestly, because I, don't typically reach for a loose powder because they're a little more work and a little more high maintenance than a pressed powder. But I need to, um, I guess I'll just keep it, I don't know. 
heavy. Like, I wish I could weigh. That would be a fun experiment. Put all my makeup in a bag and weigh it and see how much it weighs. If it's over 50 pounds, I know I'm gonna have trouble. I will keep this one for now. It's not like a, if I didn't like the product, I would have no problem getting rid of it, but I do like the product, so that's where I'm at. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, decluttering four. So I got rid of, I don't feel so bad about it now, I got rid of a few of those. All right, and this is all of my setting sprays. So this is actually a lot, but I think I can go through these pretty quickly because I have used up two since I've started my project pan a couple months ago. This one I have not used because I tried to buy the matte mist and set, but they sent me the original one instead, which is not that big of a deal. I just haven't gotten to it because I prefer these other ones. So I think with these, what I'm gonna do is keep and use up the ones that I don't like so much and then bring the other ones with me. I think my first priority will be to use up the Milani Make It Dewy just because this is harder for me to use in film which there's only you can't see through the bottle at all I don't know how much is left in there it doesn't feel very full at all so I will do my face makeup use setting spray and then put my glasses back on and then do my brows. If I spray this the makeup just comes right off when I put my glasses on, like where my nose is. So I typically go for a long lasting one or a matte one to help with that. I mean, it feels like it's about maybe to there. So I'll keep this one and try to use it up and then I'm not gonna bring this one with me if I don't use it up. So that's going in the use or lose it. And this Milani Make It Last. I actually did a video as well comparing these two to see if they actually help to make your makeup last longer. So I'll link that video as well. Milani Make It Last is one of my favorites that I've used, even though, as I concluded in that video, it doesn't really make it last longer versus if you don't use it, but it makes the makeup look better. So I'm gonna keep that one and maybe bring it with me. This e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. This is new, new-ish to e.l.f. And this actually works pretty well. It does something different than the Milani one. Like it, this kind of feels like almost a hair, like a, I don't want to call it like a hairspray, but it has a different feeling on your skin. Like it kind of leaves a film. I know that sounds bad, but it's not. It makes you, you feel like your makeup's going to last longer even though some of these kind of feels like you're just spraying water. So this one I will keep as well. Oh, something else I did not think about was the, these have, wait a minute, are these the same? Those are the same size. So I did not think about if I have to put these in my carry-on, I cannot bring these elf ones in my carry-on because they're too big. So that um, solves that problem for me. So in this one, since it's in the box, I'll hold on to it and see if maybe I will end up needing it, but I don't think I'm going to use up all of these in two, maybe three months, however long it's going to be. And this one I am working on using up. It's it's only down to there, but it's going pretty quick. And I'm kind of leery about this packaging, putting it in a suitcase because it is it feels a little bit flimsy. So I think this one will go in the use it or lose it. And I need a bigger use it or lose it bucket. So I'm really only keeping these three. So I had five setting sprays, I'm keeping three and decluttering two. These are the three things that I am just outright getting rid of. The Physician's Formula Powder, the Eau Naturale, color corrector and the ColourPop no filter foundation stick. And here's the basket of things that I am going to get rid of if I don't use them up before I go. So the e.l.f. primer, that ColourPop concealer, ColourPop foundation, this Milani powder, the KVD powder, that ColourPop loose powder, the e.l.f. setting spray, and the Milani setting spray. So I had 34 total. It's not too bad. And I'm keeping 15. I'm keeping 24, so that means I am decluttering 10 products. So that's about 30%. That's pretty good. So that was all for today's video. Hopefully this style is a little more interesting and you can just pick and choose what you want to see. 
And next week I will have the bronzer, highlight, and blush, those kinds of products. So subscribe so you don't miss those. And you can click right here to watch my most recent video or click over here. Uh, I guess since I don't have any other declutters, maybe, maybe my last empties video, check that one out. And then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss seeing my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And links to my social media as well as hopefully all of the videos that I referenced in this video will be linked in the description box. And I will see you guys in the comments. Bye.